Summary of the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne An unnamed narrator starts the Scarlet Letter with an introduction that talks about how the novel came to be. The storyteller found a book and a beautiful Scarlet Letter A in the attic while working at the Salem Custom House, which collects taxes. The narrator decided to turn the story in the draft into an actual novel after he lost his job. A novel called The Scarlet Letter. The story takes place in Boston in the 1600s, a city ruled by strict Puritan law. The story starts with the main character of the book, Hester Prynne, being led out of a jail with a baby named Pearl in her arms. She has a big bright red A stitched on her chest. An eager crowd waits for Hester to be thrown down from a scaffolding to be shamed in public for her sin. Hester is scared that she will see her separated husband Chillingworth in the crowd while she is on the scaffold. He is shocked to see that she is the same person. Hester was married to an English scholar who was meant to follow her to Boston but never showed up. Chillingworth acts like he doesn't know her and gets her story from a man in the crowd. After two years, she sinned and cheated on her husband which led to the birth of her child and the red A on her breast. Chillingworth thinks that the unknown man will be caught, but when the well-liked local minister Arthur Dimmesdale tells Hester to say what the man's name is, she refuses and is sent back to her cell. Chillingworth pretends to be a doctor to get into the jail and talk to Hester. Once he's inside, he makes her swear that she will never tell anyone that he's married. It's been three years. When Hester gets out of jail, she moves to the edge of Boston, close to a forest. She works as a seamstress to make a living, but the people who hire her still avoid her. Hester won't tell Pearl what the scarlet letter means, so Pearl can't take her mind off of it. At the same time, Chillingworth is working as a doctor in Boston, even though he has never been to medical school. Dimmesdale is one of his patients who has become sick with heart trouble. Chillingworth moves in with Dimmesdale to take care of him full-time and starts to think that Dimmesdale's heart problem might have something to do with Hester's crime. It becomes clear to Chillingworth that Dimmesdale is in love with Hester when he sees the red letter that Dimmesdale cut into his heart. Chillingworth plans to hurt Dimmesdale and bring him to light. Chillingworth's mean care makes Dimmesdale's health worse. Dimmesdale is going through a lot of mental pain because he feels guilty for cheating on his wife and hiding it. To punish himself, he even goes without food and beats himself. One night, Dimmesdale climbs up the same scaffolding that Hester was shamed in public on. They walk by right then and join Dimmesdale on the scaffold. Their names are Hester and Pearl. A star in the shape of a red a lights up the sky and shines light on Chillingworth, who is standing nearby. Hester thinks she needs to help Dimmesdale and begs Chillingworth to stop making him suffer. Chillingworth knows he's turned mean and cruel, but he says that by keeping Dimmesdale's secret from everyone, he's actually saving him. Then Hester decides to do something about it. She meets Dimmesdale in the forest and tells him who Chillingworth really is. She talks Dimmesdale into running away with her and Pearl to Europe. The day after Dimmesdale is supposed to give an important lecture, they plan to take a ship. The lecture is given by Dimmesdale, and it is the best of his life. He knows he won't make it to Europe though, because he's dying. He takes the step ladder up and asks Hester and Pearl to come with him. Telling everyone what he has done wrong, he bares his chest and shows them a red letter cut into his skin. As Pearl gives him her first kiss, he dies. Pearl and Hester are leaving Boston. Chillingworth dies a year after Dimmesdale, and he leaves Pearl a small fortune. Hester goes back to her house on the edge of town many years later. She's still wearing her a Pearl is married to a wealthy man in Europe and writes to Hester from time to time. Hester stays in Boston until she dies, and she is buried next to Dimmesdale. Letter A has been carved on the gravestone that they both share. Hawthorne was born in 1804 in Salem, Massachusetts. When he was only four years old, his father drowned and died. He was raised by his mother alone in Salem. After that, he went to Bowdoin College and finished in 1824. In 1842, he married Sophia Peabody. They were married for a long time and had three children together. Writing wasn't enough for Hawthorne to support his family, 
so from 1846 to 1849, he worked as a surveyor for the Custom House in Salem. During his lifetime, Hawthorne became friends with other great writers such as Longfellow, Thoreau, and Melville. He died in 1864. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.